Well, you'll find out later. On to dessert, gulab jamun with ice cream. Ooh, is it homemade ice cream? <laughs> Homemade kulfi, actually, and she can mix his milk, double cream, sugar and cardamom powder, which is then brought to the boil. Kulfi's a great ice cream to make. It doesn't need to be churned, nothing like that. You literally just let it reduce and then add whatever flavouring you want to. So I'm adding pistachios. With the pistachios popped in, it's into the freezer to set. As ice creams go, it's a pretty easy one. Depending on the heat of the curry, the ice cream could be a winner for me. If I had to guess what a gulab jamun is, I would say it's some type of fruit. Afraid not. For her gulab jamun, shika deep fries pre-made dough balls. Keep them moving. And I think the idea is, is that you want them to be nice and brown and a nice consistency. They'll be served with syrup later. And shika's off to get glammed up. I feel like they're definitely tapping into British people's love for curry and Indian food. So it'll be exciting for me because I actually haven't had a curry in the UK ever in my life. So, excited. After burning off the last two courses, it's time to pile the pounds back on with bud. Different texture to ice cream, anything, but very um, traditionally Indian ice cream. Which is getting poured onto piping hot dough balls. Here's the final course of the evening, gulab jamun with pistachio kulfi. Well, it looks amazing. I think it's a little bit on... I've been a little bit on the hot side, so hopefully uh. the ice cream's... chat's gone a bit melty. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. The gulab jamun, which I'm sure I'm pronouncing incorrectly, with the beautiful kulfi, with the pistachios, that was a treat. Um, I think uh, Sheikah was stressed that her ice cream was melting. It didn't matter at all. It was delicious. Mm. If I have to be completely honest, I don't like it very much. I mean, it might just be a personal thing, just because I don't like things so sweet, but it was so sweet. I have to be honest. Yeah? It wasn't my favourite thing of the meal tonight. I think, for me, the dessert was a little disappointing. Unfortunately, by the time mine come round, my ice cream was completely melted, which was disappointing, but the taste was there, and I love pistachios. Mm -hmm. So I really did enjoy the pistachios. Amazing. Of it. So, yeah, it was nice. I would probably say was the weakest dish. The big juicy balls we had were lovely. The ice cream had started to melt. Um, but I can't. How do you pronounce it again? The jimbly, jimbly, <laughs> jimbly blah blah. Never mind. Scores, please. Sheikah's night. Amazing entertainment. Amazing hosting skills. The food was a little bit underwhelming with a little bit dry chicken and much, much, much too sweet dessert. So due to this, I'm going to be giving her a seven. I really enjoyed the main course. The starter was OK. And I have to say that the dessert was not for me. And for that reason, I'm going to give her a six. Great entertainment, great hosting, really good food. Could have been a bit spicier. For that reason, I'm taking a point off. So I'm giving Sheikah a nine. She's done an amazing job tonight. Venue, food, presentation, entertainment, ambiance. She's got to get an eight. Meaning Sheikah starts strongly with 30 points. <laughs>